A potlatch in the Alaska native village of Tyonic. It's a celebration recognizing the gift of 160 acres to the tribe from the Nature Conservancy. The land is being donated to the tribe in a conservation easement, a return of stewardship to native people. The evidence of the land is clear. The Tabona, or the beach people of the Denina, have harvested salmon and lived a subsistence lifestyle for at least the past 1,000 years. The land is called the Mother of the Earth, and it's culturally rich. It includes a 2013 archaeological discovery of dwellings that predate Western contact, underground storage pits used for preserving food, and a cemetery. In 1936, this land was homesteaded by Mary and Frank Smith. Eventually, the family donated the land to the Catholic Church. Then, in 2008, despite pressure to sell for development, including a nearby proposed coal mine, the church conveyed the land to the Nature Conservancy. Of course, uh, it could have, been, could have been sold for buku bucks, but um, uh, they came up with a solution. I have a son that was 36 years old, and I've never seen him until he was 36 years. And when we first met, uh, we just fell into each other's arms and cried and cried. I mean, it was just an awesome, awesome thing. And this is the same thing as that, as to the land, our land, that was traditionally our land historically for the past thousands of years coming back into tribal government, tribal hands, that's what it's like. You know, uh, we have our identity refocused and reconnected back to the land of who we are. See, uh, the Alaska Native Claim Settlement Act took away uh, our ability to own land. Uh, Taunik, uh, Venati, Metlakatla, and uh, I think there were a couple others that were reserves. The, this, where, where you're standing right now is the um, Mokwaki Indian Reservation. And we had um, one of the largest land bases in, as natives in Alaska. But uh, <clears throat> the Alaska Native Claim Settlement Act, Act uh, abolished that, and so we became uh, shareholders instead of landowners. Uh, the corporation formed under the Alaska Native Claim Settlement Act right now are are the owners, but <clears throat> at, um, uh, it's not the same. I mean, you you could own you could own fifty thousand shares of Ford Motor Company, but then that doesn't give you any right to any of the cars or anything that's on the road. It's the same concept here. We are shareholders, but then we are not owners. We just have share in, within the corporation that owns the land. For us to be landowner, us as natives, as you know, are intricately tied to the land, its resources, animals, uh, and, uh, what it produces. Uh, as stated earlier, this is our grocery store and our pharmacy uh, that we are. <clears throat> and uh, without land ownership, it's it's kind of like taking away the part of your identity of who you are. Well, this is sacred, sacred, sacred ground land. Are primarily connected to who we are in the mid to early 1800s when there was um, a large population of our people up there. This whole effort has just been an amazing, wonderful uh, component part of my professional career because it has brought to life a spiritual force that uh, really comes from the people here uh, and the land. And it's, uh, it's almost as if the spirit of the past has is, is come forward to help the present uh, protect and preserve this land. It's, it's been uh, a wonderful uh, discovery of uh, the power of Native people to connect in a way so closely with the land um, over time, over time.